UHF transceiver for CubeSats network. I already asked things related to this topic. But this time I will try to divide it by points to make it more understandable. Features of my CubeSats would have eight CubeSats 3U in Earth's orbit. The CubeSats will be at 850 km altitude. Communication details. The idea is that they communicate with Earth by UHF and send it through a 75 cm diameter deployable parabolic antenna via X-band to the Moon. On the Moon there will be four CubeSats 3U orbiting that receive with a 75 cm diameter deployable parabolic antenna and transmit to the surface in UHF. The UHF antennas will be deployed from the corners of the CubeSat, being able to deploy antennas up to 60 cm long. The connection must reach 2 megabits per second at all times to receive and send commands, telemetry data and photos. I honestly do not know the typical reception cups and I say 2 megabits per second because it seems reasonable to me, sorry if it is an unthinkable number for an Earth-Moon communication. My questions. What power should the UHF transceiver have? And what powers the X-band? What equipment to have on board the CubeSat to receive by X-band and send by UHF? And what equipment should you have to receive by UHF and send by X-band? The question asks for a design of a complete system and that's more than I can answer. However I've worked out a rough link budget calculation for your deep space X-band link between Earth orbit and Moon orbit. You can use the same math for each of your UHF links, but if you use a different kind of antenna than a dish you'll have to look up the gains for your UHF antennas elsewhere. The equation below applies only to a circular dish. For the question of the deep space link we can do that easily by using the math explained in much more detail in this answer. Dollar dollar $p underscore rx equals p underscore tx plus g underscore tx l underscore fs plus g underscore rx dollar 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 $p underscore rx dollar received power dollar $p underscore tx dollar transmitted power dollar $g underscore tx dollar gain of transmitting antenna compared to isotropic dollar l underscore fs dollar free space loss but really dollar lambda squared r caret two dollars because of the way gain is defined dollar g underscore rx dollar gain of receiving antenna compared to isotropic where dollar dollar l underscore fs equals 20 times log underscore 10 left 4 pi frac r lambda right dollar 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 g underscore dish sim 20 times log underscore 10 left frac pi d lambda right dollar dollar we have antenna diameters of 0.75 meters from the question and let's use 8 gigahertz as a ballpark typical deep space x band frequency dollar lambda equals c f dollar gives 0.0375 meters and that makes the gain of each antenna about 36 decibels the distance to the moon is about 4 e plus 08 meters so dollar l underscore fs dollar is about 223 decibels making dollar g underscore tx l underscore fs plus g underscore rx dollar about minus 151 decibels that means that for every 1 w of transmit power there will be 8 e 1 5 w of received power for an effective receiver temperature of say 300 Kelvin the noise equivalent power or NEP will be about dollar $K underscore BT times delta F dollar where dollar $K underscore B dollar is the Boltzmann constant which is about 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 J K. The required bandwidth will be of the order of the bits per second though the details depend on encoding schemes and error correction outside the scope of this answer. So with dollar delta f dollar of 2 e plus 06 hz we get an NEP of a 300k receiver front end of 8 e15w, which is surprisingly just the same as the received power. That makes the signal to noise ratio dollar s n equals one dollar, and according to the Shannon Hartley theorem, this suggests that yes, indeed, a bandwidth dollar bw dollar of two megahertz just barely allow your data rate of two megabits sec with only one watt of transmit power. If you use instead 10 watts, and everything else is perfect, you should be okay. From am I using Shannon Hartley theorem and thermal noise correctly here? Dollar dollar C equals BW log underscore 2 left 1 plus frac S N right dollar dollar, where dollar C dollar is the theoretical maximum possible data rate. 